parking right outside the main of the Novotel. Uh, looks like it's a little busy right here, so I gotta watch what I'm doing. There you can see the sign, so as you can see, you just walk out, they have the security checkpoint right there, they're checking on the cars, so it's always a nice thing, and then boom, right outside, about as convenient as you can get the shortest walk, not even from the lobby to here, two minutes, you get a 7-Eleven right here, so works out perfectly, and then you make a, make a right, or really a left, but a right right here, and then you just have this little village, this little town worth of just of course it's uh, highly tourist uh, centric but you know just about 10 different restaurants you can get, you can you can choose from and little souvenir shops and uh, just little things to buy and uh, uh, anything you might need instead of just always being in the hotel and paying the hotel prices and all that kind of stuff so just wanted to show you get an idea of what it's like not just in the resorts I'm gonna do a few more hopefully walking uh, on the street down in uh, Bangkok, maybe in the Sukhumvit area. Obviously a lot different, but uh, yeah, just wanted to give some perspective. Obviously you see it's, you know, for foreigners, obviously, uh, pizza and burgers and that kind of stuff, but uh, just a nice little, nice little bonus to have this just so close so you don't have to worry about taking a taxi or a, a tuk-tuk, their local uh, way of transportation around here. But uh, anyway, Thanks for uh, walking along, and uh, we're going to 7-Eleven. I'm looking for this one kind of chili sauce that I don't have. But, uh, yeah, here's the high 7-Eleven, full of uh, Hello Kitty and whatnot. But yeah, there's the Novotel, there's the part right there. So thanks for coming by, and we'll see you next time.